Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we are going to talk about polarity and phase and check the difference. In short, when sound is transformed to electricity by the microphone and the preamp, changing the polarity is inverting the positive and the negative impulses. Naming this action inverting the phase or flipping the phase, as many say, is a mistake. Changing the polarity is only changing the positives in negatives and the negatives in positives. Let's test this in Samplitude Pro X5. So the first thing that I did to prepare this video is to record a guitar track. So here are its sounds. And to better understand polarity, it's best to use two identical signals. So I'm going to copy this track. Copy and paste with objects, yes. So we have the two identical tracks side by side. If we play them together, the end result will be louder because both signal are adding to each other. So let's try it. So now, if we change the polarity of one of those signals, I can do it live on the mixer. You see, we don't hear anything anymore. But of course, if we look at it visually, if we zoom in, let's check this peak. You see the inverted polarity track is exactly the opposite of the original one. So when it goes positive, the positive part has switched to negative. And then here the negative part went positive. That's why if you think about a speaker that wants to move, it can't go positive and negative at the same time, so it cancel itself. So if I play, we don't hear anything. And if I change the volume just a tiny bit, uh, the cancellation won't be perfect, so we will start to hear the guitar. Okay? So that's what invert polarity is. Phase is something very different from polarity because it is time related. But before we go further, we need to look at what sound is. The sounds that we hear are caused by air displacement and you can look at it as if you throw a rock in a pound. The wrinkles that it makes are very similar to audio waves that a sound makes in the air. Most sounds are composed of many frequencies, lower frequencies and higher frequencies. The lower frequencies are longer and the higher frequencies are shorter. Now about phase and time. We all know that audio takes time to travel in the air. For example, in a storm, you will see the lightning before hearing the thunder. So if we make a recording with two microphones placed at equal distance from a source, both recording will be in phase at the same time. If we move one of the microphones closer or further away from the source, both recordings will be out of phase. Why is all that important? Well, since frequencies are longer or shorter, depending on the wave that it makes in the air, the time displacement will make some frequencies being cancelled. Sounds that you record with this displacement will sound different and often not in a right way. Let's test this right away.
So now both track are in phase and in the same polarity. If we play them, and what if we move one of them just a tiny bit in time? You see we lost almost all the high frequencies. If I go further, the frequencies are changing because the cancellation is different. Remember, what we see here is a sum of many frequencies that the guitar is producing. So if we go back, and just for fun, Now we're in phase again. We can change the speed of one of those tracks just slightly. Like this maybe. So what it will do is the further more we play, the more out of phase the second track will be. So let's try it and see what it does. So now it sounds like a flanger because the phase keeps changing and changing. So now about the relation between polarity and phase. It's easy to understand that if two signals are out of phase, some frequencies will be cancelled or diminished. When this happens, you can reverse the polarity of one of the signals and the cancellation will change. Different frequencies will or will not be affected. Let's say the cancellation between overhead mics and the snare drums make your drum recording a bit aggressive in the high frequencies because other frequencies are being lowered, so there's a peak in those aggressive frequencies. When reversing the polarity of the overheads, it's possible that the sum of the recordings make it sound better. So you really need to experiment. In the end, is out of phase good or bad? Only you can tell. If it sounds good to you, it's good. Some will even use phase displacement as an EQ tool. Move around the mics until it sounds right. So time for you to experiment and let me know how it turns out. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, consider subscribing, and click on the bell to receive notifications. Put questions and comments below, and of course, share my videos, it's always a great help.